So let's bring in Ryan Riley with me right now. We want to talk about this very, what we may be seen as a significant hack against both campaigns, uh, and China seems to be behind it. Ryan, what more can you tell us? Yeah, it's part of uh, a, 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 bre a breach of a U.S. Uh, telecommunications company, and it seems like it targeted both campaigns, including some figures uh, on the campaign. So we're still sort of figuring this out. The FBI is taking the lead on this, but obviously with this close to the election, you know, this has been an ongoing yeah. uh, scenario that we've seen in several elections now where we have this outside targeting uh, of American elections and uh, trying to get information that could change the outcome of the election potentially. The first report we had was that it was a Chinese attempt and they were targeting Trump and Vance. And then later, an hour later, we heard it appears that Harris and Walls were also attacked or hacked. Yeah, so this was why you can think of that as more of a sort of looking at every every campaign where we've seen some other entities, you know, your Russia that is, you know, directly allegedly trying to uh, help uh, Donald Trump and then Iran apparently uh, trying to uh, go against Donald Trump. So that's, you know, what we've sort of seen thus far, whereas this is more of a widespread uh, look at both campaigns. Uh, that's interesting. So it doesn't appear necessarily that the Chinese are using this to try to influence uh, either to influence the election, mm -hmm. but rather gather intel on all the candidates. Exactly. Yeah, that seems what, based on what we know right now, that seems what to be what this is. This isn't something that they're trying to get information and then, you know, publish it online necessarily, like we've seen in other cases mm -hmm. where they're actually trying to influence how uh, Americans vote and get information that may be, you know, detrimental to one campaign or the other. This is sort of more widespread and gathering information that can be then be beneficial uh, to China, perhaps. Have Do we know, have they been listening into these phone calls or hacking the emails, or do we have any feel for that? The feel that we have right now is that it seems to be uh, about the number of contacts they have, but the context necessarily isn't something that we know uh, that they have. But the contacts themselves can be very valuable, just knowing the network yeah. of people who people are talking to. Uh, Ryan, thank you very much. Ryan Riley. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.